Lick it, Harrison. No. 50 bucks right now. No, I can't. One inch. One inch, lick it. No. I'll touch it, but no. I'm not. No, lick it. One inch. There's going to be some, look. Lick, 50 bucks right now. $50. Look at that. No. Chicken. I'll touch it. No. Nope. Lick no, it. I'm not, lick. I'm not dragging my tongue across the Come shit on. rod. Come on. Humiliate it yourself. Can't, it can't happen. Humiliate yourself. It can't happen. 50 bucks. Nope. Chicken. If I wipe it on, no, I'm not. There's no way. Chicken. All right, Harrison. What did you get? Uh, I got a meatball sub. Lots of cheese. Wait, yeah, that's meatball sub. Pretty cheesy. Bun's kind of toasted nicely. Honestly, this could have been a better design. Yeah, the container maybe would have worked a little better when you're trying to eat on the go. Yeah. And no napkin. No, you didn't get napkins? I didn't do this. Pretty good. Not bad. Could have been melted a little more, but... Yeah, probably it. The cheese is hardly melted at all. I've got Italian sausage with onions. Maybe a pepper? I don't know. Definitely onions. But there's no sauce on it. They were economical. They were four bucks. Homeworth uh, General Store down here. They have a different theme for lunch every day. I'll try it and tell you what I think. All right, Harrison. Meatball sub. Homeworth General Store. What do you give it? Uh, probably a five. If they would have melted cheese, I probably would have given it a six. Okay. But you can't not melt. I mean, if you grab it and then throw it in the oven for like five minutes. Yeah, yeah but you grab and go, though. I mean. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's probably a five. Five. Yeah. Uh, Italian sub. Um, it had onions and maybe a couple peppers in there. And they were cooked very, very nicely. But need a little sauce. You got to have a little sauce on your Italian sausage. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go 5.75. Um, sauce probably would have made it a 6.75. But convenience, you can't go wrong. The bread was bad. The bread was good. The meat itself was fine. But, it yeah, it needed the, the cheese needed to be melted. And the Italian sausage needed sauce on it. But, honestly, those are pretty easy. Yeah. I mean, if they just do. But, I mean, you can't beat the convenience of it. Yeah. So. All right, there you go. Are you having fun, Harrison? Oh, yeah. Don't worry, it's only 15 times. It shouldn't take you but a month. Yeah. Well, we were in a hurry. We needed this quick snack. And we normally find good stuff at Duke and Duchess, but um, these are questionable at best. Come on, these are nifty bag. Tyson crispy chicken sandwiches, but they seem moist. And oh, that looks attractive. Yeah, the only thing I can say is moist and unappetizing. There you go. So, we're going to do a review of them. That's oh, nice. that's gross. That's phenomenal. I'm going to let Harrison eat his first bite. Well, that part doesn't look as bad. I don't know, but they're not supposed to be wet. No, really shouldn't be wet. That's pretty wet. Uh -uh. Nope. Oh, I think we found our first thing we've had at Duke and Duchess that we don't like. Mm. Why is it chewy and wet? What? Why is the bun like that? It's like the whole thing was frozen, but they put the chicken in the microwave. And it was like the bun defrost by itself. <laughs> it's bad. Let me get rid of that part. That's kind of gross. It's chewy, wet, and dry. It hit everything. All right, Harrison, what do you give it? Uh, a two. He's going a two. I think he's being generous. <coughs> and there's no sauce on it. No, it's just a, a plain chicken sandwich. It's just a dry chicken sandwich. That's wet. I'm going to give it a one and a half. Like, this might be the... That's still not good. Mm -mm. There's nothing about it that's good. Nope. It has no flavor. It's bad, yeah. The outside's wet. The inside's uh, dry. Um, and they were expensive. $3.49. Honestly, you can go to a dollar store. That is an idea. That's honestly probably what they did. The pre made ones at the dollar yeah. store? It's like a buck. I think my hand, the poop on my hand tastes better than the sandwich. Unless you got a piece of corn in there. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. All right. Tyson Crispy Chicken at Duke and Duchess. Not good. Match negative.
Harrison, the turkey whisperer, strikes again. They think he's feeding them because he's throwing little balls of snow at the ground at their feet. It's kind of cruel. Plus, it's very loud out here now. Darlina's Tortilla Tostada. On oh, the old section of Canton there on Mahoning Road just before you get to Louisville. So we got the Mexican food here. We got three street tacos. One of them is chicken. The other two are beef. They came with rice and beans, which I didn't know. That is their greedy burrito, which is chicken and steak. And it also came with rice and beans. Again, I didn't know that. But 10 bucks for the burrito. I think it was $6 for the tacos. Yeah, I think so. No, it was 10 it's 10 10 for all, right. all of that and 10 for that. so 20 bucks and we also got two sodas because you gotta have uh sodas when you have tacos and burritos so i can't tell you how good it smells in here but it smells amazing am i right i mean it smells pretty good you guys should be able to smell this honestly. it smells and it's all fresh you it made smells. it right as we were waiting for it so we're gonna dig in and i think we're gonna start with the uh tacos so we'll start it's there like doing we'll a shot away. i'm excited all right why don't you start? That's the chicken one. So you want chicken or beef? I don't care. I'll just take the chicken one. Then. Great. I'm gonna see what the chicken tastes like. You want, here, yeah. I try a piece of chicken. All right. I'm gonna reach That's in solid to his chicken. burrito. Oh wow, that is good chicken. I'm not exactly sure what the greenery is on it, but it's pretty. <laughs> That's cilantro. Oh, it's got onion. Chicken, cheese. Oh, yeah. What if we just eat the entire lime? Do you eat the entire lime? No, I squeezed it on yeah. there like a good boy. Yeah. Authentic corn. Oh, yeah. That's a real deal street taco. That's pretty good. With the, corn's the way to go with your tortilla shells, too. Mm -hmm. Flour is not. If you're eating Mexican food, food with a flour tortilla, you're not doing it right. Well, and it's not crunchy, and it's not soft. Well, it's just right. Honestly, the lime on it is really the defining factor. Like, I'm kind of impressed that they put the lime on there. Because yeah. they put quite a bit of onions on here. Like, these are the onions that fell off so far. I got halfway through it. And you can't really taste all the onion because of the lime. The lime's really good. Yes. And it did take a while. You know, it wasn't like he just scooped it out of a pot. He cooked this all fresh for us. Still didn't take too long. I'm going to eat two tacos. I'm going to try to beat. Oh, Here you go. I think I have a guac on it. Oh, my God. I think you'd call that the everything burrito, basically. And they didn't even make it with the, right, the, the rice that they wanted to make it with because they ran out. Right. So just imagine how well that would have been. Sophisticated and simple? Damn. That's impressive. This is how I'd imagine Jesus making a burrito. Pure, sophisticated, and simple. All in one. You know, ingredients, like, to make it, to hide the taste of it. Like, case, or, uh, like, Jalisco has that California burrito, and they just smother it in queso sauce. Which tastes good, yeah, but it's smothered in queso sauce. What were you going to expect? This, this is just simple. It's just perfect flavors. Oh. The amazing part is, is a huge burrito, but it doesn't taste like a huge burrito. It goes down so smooth. Oh, there's chicken and beef in here. Yeah, that's the one that is the everything burrito. Oh. They call it the greedy, but I mean, basically it's everything that's on the menu. Queso maybe? Uh, is a guac? Yeah, a little guac. Lettuce, tomato, two kinds of rice, and just a very little bit of beans. Onion. I'm gonna probably use a little cheese inside, but I think it has cheese in it. Does it have cheese in it? Yeah. Well, if it does have cheese in it, there's the right amount of cheese. Yeah, it's just a little bit, uh -huh. a little bit of everything. All right, Harrison. Um, I'm giving. Are we? Should we do burrito and? Let's just do it. Oh, well, you do them separate, but then just combine that in an overall. Because you gotta mention the refried beans. I'm gonna give the street tacos a ten, which I don't think I've done before. Have I ever gotten anything? Attacked? Just the blueberry donuts. Oh, the blueberry donuts were a 10 too. But yeah, the street tacos were a 10. It's a different 10, but it's a 10. And I'm going to give the burrito probably a 9. 
which is weird because you'd think I would have liked the burrito more, but the street tacos were unexpectedly amazing. The burrito was expectedly amazing, if that makes sense. That is a fair assumption right yeah. there. I don't know if assumption is the correct term for that. Yeah, you're assuming that the burrito would have been the best thing that we got because burritos are amazing, but it turned out that the taco was better than the burrito. Nicely done. Thank so you. You saved that one. Yeah, I didn't say it. I just, definitely say that. I just clarified your unknowingly use of words. I think I'm getting a zit on my nose. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't remember the name already. Oh, my God. It, it was at the beginning of the video. Taco I don't remember. Truck. The, taco truck. The taco truck. It's blue. It's a trailer. It's out here. Uh, I think this is what? Mahoning. This is Mahoning Road. Just next to the uh, hideaway or the fear factory. Factory of terror, whatever you want to call it. Um. Yeah, like I'm gonna just combine that and go 9.5. Super fresh, super good. The tacos were better than the burrito, but they were still both really good. And again, it was so light. Yeah. I can't tell you how the big, huge burrito, but it ate like super I mean, light. It, it, I mean, it fills you up. Oh yeah, not. it fills you up, but it, it it's not yeah, like it's not like oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, you're not like oh, I gotta puke. Like out. I want to go back and get three tacos, but Harrison said that he couldn't eat anymore; he'd puke. I could definitely, I can store them for later. No, if food. you get them, you have to eat them now. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm kind of like. I could eat three more tacos. That's not a problem. That's in my wheelhouse of skills. Yeah, I hope you are okay with. This. Yeah, oh, yeah. We we're definitely yeah. fans, and we would really definitely be back. The quesadilla there, or what's the other one? The I fajita bet, burrito? Yeah, I bet, yes. Oh, yeah, I bet yeah. that's good. Or like the Mexican. They have a bunch of stuff there, too. Yeah, they had a, a lot of more Mexican-worded food, I guess you would say. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I bet it's tasty. Is there Spanish food? Yes, there is also Spanish food. Spanish food well, and Mexican, Mexican food. food would be Spanish food. Well, but... The dialect is slightly different. It's like if you live in America, but you live in the north or you live in the south, you have different words for different things like soda or, or pop. Like we call it pop, but down south, they call it soda. Yeah, but still, I mean, Mexican language would be Spanish. It's not like America language. It's Do we English. We speak English, but we don't speak the same English that they speak in England. I mean... We kind of do. What do they call vacuum cleaners in England? I don't know. Zoom zooms? No, Hoover's. Oh, Hoover. Okay. We call them vacuum. Well, that's probably because Hoover's a gigantic company. What? Are, okay. We have biscuits. Crepes. No, they're those are their cookies. No, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's a crepe. No. Over there, they have cookies. Crumpets. That's it. It's tea and crumpets. Tea and crumpet. <coughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's crumpets. I'm saying that they call cookies biscuits. We call them cookies. So what are their cookies? Do they not have cookies? What do they call the cookies? Biscuits? Or do they call their biscuits cookies? <laughs> they call their cookies biscuits. Then what are their biscuits? I don't know. Crumpets. Maybe. Creeps. Crepes. Creeps. Crepes. Crepes are French. Wait, what's that? And it's called a I, crepe. You have to say the whole tea and crump. That's yeah, the crumpet. Tea and crumpets. You think a crumpet is the same as our biscuit? I don't know. You have crumpets and jam? Do you put jam on biscuits? I put jam on biscuits. Well, I mean, like a crumpet. Oh, I don't know. You'll have to figure that one out and let everybody know. I don't even know if it's a crumpet or a crepe. That van has a three-inch lift on it. Wow. That's impressive. That was impressive. ADD much? I might throw up. What's with you eating and throwing up? You have a zit right there. Yeah, you have a zit right there. It's massive. You should be embarrassed. You shouldn't be on camera. Probably not. Let me zoom in on that. Did you just ask me why ducks like to get in the water? Yeah, isn't that, isn't that, oh, look. Isn't that cold? They're ducks. Yeah, so wouldn't that be cold? No, it wouldn't be cold for a duck. Why are they going underneath like that? They eat. Think it ever gets too cold for them? When it freezes, it, it's frozen. Harrison, the ducks are sliding over there. I really wanted to hit that one with the snowball. No, Harrison, you can't hit the ducks with the snowball. Whatever they're sliding, I think they can't get away fast enough. So be, that's what we need to do it when they're on that ice. 
you know? Or when they're upside down like that. That would be a good time to do it. There's a turkey sneaking up on you, Harrison. We're going to give a couple shout outs. Uh, Eleanor, who thinks I look like an elf. I don't think I look like an elf. I think I he looks I, like a giant garden gnome. I look like a giant Viking. Like a garden gnome. A Viking? Well, yeah. Have, like, you, have you seen any elves that are 6'8"? No, but like... I okay. could definitely see a garden gnome being 6'8". A garden gnome? Gnomes are tiny. So uh, you're saying you look like a Viking from How to Train a Dragon kind of Viking? Or what? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, How to Train Your Dragon Viking. I feel like those that's Vikings would be bigger than the Vikings off the show Viking. I feel like the Vikings off the show Viking are just tiny little guys with tiny... Well, Vikings guys. probably, in general, were tiny, but not me. So you're just assuming that you would be classified as a Viking. I'd be the leader of the Vikings. <laughs> or the leader of the garden gnomes. You would be the leader of the garden gnomes, Tiny. <laughs> you look like a garden gnome. You look you like have... a leprechaun. But that might be true. So we got... He's wearing green and has a red beard. He's ready for Christmas. That's not funny. Hmm. Can you lead me to your pot of gold? Oh my God. Protect my yard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Eleanor, there's your shout out. And, uh,. Kaylin Huprich. All right. I hope you guys are watching. Yep. Don't forget, 1,000 likes uh, by January 1st, and I will let Harrison give me a haircut. It's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be great. I don't know. That's a lot of that's a, that's a lot of subscribers. I don't know if we can get 1,000 subscribers by then. I'm, we might have to honestly buy like a little special razor thing so I can put designs in your mullet. Oh, my God. Art. No, we're not. No, you say can't. you can do a mullet. I'm, yeah, it's happening. No, no mullet. Oh, I a said mullet. a haircut. You're either getting a mullet, you're getting a, a fat stripe the center of the forehead all the way back. So you don't want to work with me anymore? <laughs> Let me take one eyebrow off, too. No. <laughs> yes. No.